Yes, 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 yes. We are here. We're very, very, very much here, here, here to be able to explain to you the meeting that you had, to be able to understand more about what is happening to people's lungs at this important time. And so as you are noticing many people are still having uh, sticking points with their lungs, whether they can't remove the congestion or the coughing, or they either have got many what you would call in quotation marks colds or in quotation marks fluenzas. Um, as you know, they are all simply reflections of upgrades. And so there is much to be said about the upgrades because often it may not be your own individual upgrade that you're transmuting. You know that you're all energy frequency beings that are here to support each other at this time. And for those who are able to be of more assistance and more of service, you are drawing in the energy from people who are not able to release it for themselves. They are feeling, they are feeling very overloaded. Energetically, uh, you do this naturally. When you gaze upon someone and you look at, their, look at them first with your eyes as you are noticing or unaware that you are drawing a breath energetically you're sucking up that energy and your body responds to that by letting you know that that's what it is doing by sucking up the air you may just think oh that's a coincidence I'm just breathing at the same time that I'm gazing upon someone and we're saying if you are slowing down your awareness of your body's reactions you would notice that when you see someone you would draw in the breath to absorb anything that no longer serves them energetically and so we could say you would if you saw someone overloaded full of shopping bags and boxes naturally rush in to offer to help them with their workload because they're looking unstable but that is rude for you all to do that energetically <laughs> to do that or um, physically if you um, could tap into everyone's energy fields to see all their fears, limitations, worries, and, and self-doubts and lack of love of self and all that fun stuff that many people are still holding on to as if it's precious gems, you are naturally walking up and down the aisles of the supermarket, exchanging this energy, you know, having this energy exchange. And so many of you find it too hard and too draining. But for those of you who can look at each other in their eyes, you will notice uh engaging in the eyes souls of the eyes connection first as simultaneously or afterwards the breath intaking to absorb any of that heavy workloads that they do not no longer deserve to carry because they're out of balance and so this is what light workers effectively do you absorb in um, the over the overloaded unbalanced parts of them of course, you could take all their workloads off them, but because they're so used to that density and having all of those problems and issues, they will just pick up more along the way. But for that brief moment and opportunity for them to have from, had that help to clear the clutter, shall we say, um, this gives them a boost and an upliftment and a, a weight off their shoulders and we are hoping and pressing upon them with that energy, that freedom of the energy of density, that then they would have um, a window of opportunity to have some upliftment and to have some clarity in their thoughts and feelings. And this is when we see that the epiphanies can take hold much more. We have asked many times for you to engage with people, uh, eye contact the best you can. And we are saying that when you see them and you take that breath in, that is physically an energy exchange, we are absorbing the density because you know how to love yourself and because you know how to balance yourself and ground yourself. You do not mind carrying their workload because you know you're merely the vehicle of that energy and you ground it down and you return it to where it belongs and you do not hold on to it. We say many people are having problems with their lungs because the sticking points it is so much that you're absorbing little vacuum cleaners you have to even clean a vacuum cleaner don't you the vacuum cleaner doesn't clean itself the vacuum cleaner still needs maintenance to be able to 
continue on with its workload. It needs to be charged. If you've got a vacuum that needs charged, you need to plug in. If you've got a vacuum cleaner that needs to be plugged in. And we say that even a basic broom and sweep and shovel need maintenance um, to, to look after itself so it can continue on. But if you've clogged yourself up with um, all of your light work and duty roles, shall we say, uh, you may need to have a look at your own maintenance. This is why we have asked you all to continue on with the white light healing because it is the most profound tool um, that for many can receive and achieve with that deep relaxation because that's when you are the most open because you're still in your body and you're consciously aware of your body and you're open to that healing. And many people say, to us well please i'm about to go to sleep heal me as much as you can and then they leave the body and we say how can we help you <laughs> when uh, the body needs to be consciously aware uh, awoken awake um when you leave the body when your soul leaves the body uh, to sleep the body is just an empty vehicle we need you to be able to be presently consciously aware of the body to use your free will to be able to have the upgrades. There is, of course, uh, many exceptions to all the rules that there is, but we are saying you consciously need to be aware and, and uh, maintaining the body's connection to the soul to be able to help release it. So for those people who say, okay, I'm going to sleep now, heal me while I'm sleeping, we're saying, can you just pause a bit and be awake more? Just turn off your TV earlier before going to bed. Uh, start meditating more and connecting in with us before hopping out of bed in the mornings. You're very much capable of profound connections to really heal what no longer serves you. And so for those people who are having colds at the moment and your perception of colds, of upgrades, you're really absorbing a lot. The fear gets stuck in the breath and in the lungs. And so it is the sticking points. And so when you're breathing in, and even if you do not see your community, you're still breathing in that energy and that density from them. It, you're, uh, it is hard for us to translate the energy exchanges that you have amongst each other because you sort of think if you were in one house and your neighbors are in the next house how could you possibly affect each other and we say you do energetically you absolutely do and so if your neighbor is breathing with fear and absorbing fear and using their mindsets to accumulate as much fear as possible the air around you is thick and dense with fear and so as you were trying to do all of your energy work and you're breathing in that air of fear it can get stuck in your lungs and so you think this is strange what is happening to my body it must be an upgrade all as well but it is actually energy that no longer serves you nor did it serve your neighbor but it is fear that needs to be transmuted and so we're saying once again to ground yourself and that 15-minute meditation which we gave you is the easiest way for you to ground yourself because you're opening up all relaxation of the muscles of the body to be able to have high frequency come through. We say that your bodies are one wattage of voltage of power and our frequency is, a, is much bigger. And if you resist with your body's energy you can block the our higher frequency coming through and we know that love lots of you love high frequency and you deserve to be able to have as much high vibes as possible but when we connect in with you it is a different voltage or um, a different uh, quality of energy um, and we do not want to fry your circuits with our high frequency this is why you must surrender in and be fully relaxed while still being consciously aware of the body it's a little dance that we play but it's very significant and as you know when you have that deep 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 cleansing and clearing uh, that we give you in that 15 minute meditation it is the most profound tool for you to be able to use because even when you think that you are relaxed and you're feeling very comfortable 
when you actually check in to scan your body to see where you're holding tense, tension and density, you'll realize that you may be clenching some certain muscles. And so this is why we need you to get into that deeper state of relaxation where you are nearly asleep and nearly awake. It is all very purposeful. So noticing your breath is very profound because the more you can control the breath and notice how easy it is to flow, it calms and quietens the mind because the mind wants to race so much ahead with future fears and worries. And when you slow the breath down, it slows the anxious mind, the worrying mind. And so you become more centered and grounded. And that is more beneficial for you to be able to continue on and keep maintenance of your inner peace. You can feel the heightened electric energy that is being poured onto this planet. So all the active light workers can sense this and use this to be able to plug them in and charge them up. If you are those vacuum cleaners that need to be plugged in and charged up. But you're much more special than vacuum cleaners. And while vacuum cleaners are very purposeful, you are trying to transmute as much dense energy as possible out of your energetic field and to send it and drive it deeper down away from humanity but even if it is just a momentarily release of that density for from those other people's energetic fields this is a golden opportunity for them to be able to have profound epiphanies of sobering insights and so you can be a hermit and never see anyone and still be a profound light worker. Or you could be a social butterfly and still be a profound light worker. It is up to each individual person to be responsible for their free will and how they want to do their inner work and how they want to be of service to others. You know what you're called to do and you know what you're distracting yourself from. And so... We wanted to explain to many people who are still wondering what is going on with their cough? What is going on with their lungs? It is just merely holding on to other people's energy and you can fully release it because it doesn't, doesn't belong on you. You do not need to carry other people's shopping forever. You can actually release it and put it away unpack that shopping and know that this is um, understanding the difference between your energy and other people's energy your density and other people's density and to be able to continually be responsible for grounding that energy out it is going to be more rampant so if you are struggling now this is a great time to get into the healthy routine of grounding the energy through you and to be of best service because we are so incredibly grateful for those who can be of service that is very significant and we just wanted to be able to under help you understand potentially the difference between an upgrade and energy transmission which gets stuck and so we say this with much love